A woman claims that two strangers came to her home impersonating Child Protective Services agents and attempted to snatch her four-year-old son. Scary. Let's break down exactly what happened. Famous, famous, famous. Not famous. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Not Famous. Jesse McCombs, a mother from Marysville, Washington, claims that two strangers came to her home, knocked on her door. They were dressed up professionally, and they claimed to be Child Protective Service agents. They claimed that they were there to talk to her about her son's injuries and to place the child into protective custody. Scary stuff, my friends. Now, McCombs immediately realized that her son has no injuries and that the agents must be at the wrong location until they mentioned the son's name and birth date. McCombs became very suspicious at this point and she asked the agents to see some kind of court order documentation or ID that they were who they claimed to be. They were unable to provide this information and that set off the red flags. At this point, Jesse McCombs grabs her phone and she fake dials 911 and starts to talk to the 911 operator. She did not actually do this. These agents at this point freak out. They start to head down the stairs and out of the house. They run into this black Victorian car, which kind of looks like an old police car, my friends. Now, she did not get the license plate, but she did see them drive off in a hurry after stating that they would come back later. So far, law enforcement has the details, but they have not been able to track these people down. They are still out there. This is a nightmare, of course, to anyone, especially if you're a parent of a small child. Um, as a parent myself, this is terrifying, my friends. Be very cautious who you let your home and who you trust, despite how they look or who they say they are, especially in this day and age. These people flat out tried to snatch uh, Jesse McCombs four-year-old son. It is terrifying, it is scary, and <clears throat> I don't know what I would do in this situation, but I'd probably be very angry and terrified. Anyways, I am very glad that Jesse McCombs' son is safe, but the fact that these people are still out there should uh, raise the hair on the back of your neck. My friends, it's always good to talk to you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button down there. We are a growing channel, and it is greatly appreciated. My friends, I will talk to you again. I hope you are having an amazing day. And as always, my friends, adios amigos.